Anybody could do that, Lou. I know, but I was so worried. I didn't care who won the race. But my heart just stopped beating until I saw you were safe. No matter how thin you cut it, it's always Barone. Say, listen, I know that thing. And when I say I know her, I mean I know her. Why, all she saw in that race was what she could see through the bottom of a pocket flask. She was standing in under the grandstand holding hands with a great big stock and bonds boy. Hello, Boob. Gee, Boob, where did you get it? Rich Uncle Dye or something? No, no rich uncle. Just some bread cast on the waters returned to me. A little bet of uh, $40 at 5 to 1 for old Burdette to win. Dewey and how? Howdy, <laughs> boy. The hash gone. Time to put on the feed bag. 16, 18, 22, tackle. <laughs> Betty, will you, will you wear my return it to Tim? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Betty, darling, I want you to know I love you. Oh, that's beautiful, Tom. The most beautiful words I ever heard. I'll remember them always. I bet you don't even know what I said. Just what did I say? Oh, yes, I do. I just couldn't forget. I want you to know. I love you. Thank you. 
for this dance last February, didn't I, Betty? I promise you. Well, Art, you did ask me this afternoon. See there? And besides, Tommy, you ought to give somebody else a chance. You're going to take Betty home, I suppose. Tommy, you don't mind, do you, dear? Well, all right, Art. One dance, but remember, return her to me. And don't let that stag line get hold of her. Don't worry about any stag line. If any of those boys take that girl from me, it'll be over my dead body. Ta-ta. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, Tommy. You're just the man I'm looking for. Uh, I need your help. I have a great opportunity if you will only help me. Will you? Why, what is it you want me to do, Lou? Well, uh, Jack Clark, the Broadway producer, wants to see me dance. Yes? And I thought that you could get the boys together and play her at her wagon number that we did for the Phi Gamma Review, and I could land a big contract with him. So you really want me to play for you, Lou? Uh, I don't see any harm in that. I guess I'll get the boys. When and where shall we play? Now, tonight. He's waiting at the Ramble Inn for us. Ramble Inn, Lou. I'm simply surprised. You wouldn't go there. Oh, listen, Tommy, that's all right. Gee, I've been there a dozen times. No, Lou, I'm sorry. You know, I would do most anything to help you, but I could never ask the boys to go there. Oh, you're just like all men. No one wants to give me a break. And after you promised me, too. <laughs> All right. I'll get the boys. If you promise never to go there again. Will you, Tommy? Oh, I'll promise anything. All right. You wait here. Lou, I'll get the boys here. For me, I sing, I dance too. All right, Tony, what shall I play? You play, uh, at a baby, at a kiddo's socket. All right. Hit it, Pickle. 
I got a friend, Tony, come from Italy. He no speak good English much. Today he's a call on me. He asked me, how do you say? How do you feel today? I said, Tony, just listen once. This is what you gotta say. Atta boy, all power, all soccer, all kisses, all gold. What's the fazula? It's the way you say it. You look okay. My will is easy to you drool. If you got it, Ten kids, you must feel grand. Or to have ten kids, you gotta be a man. Atta boy, Tony, Jolly, Bispy, Fushka, everybody, let's make a whoopsie. You're wonderful. You know, I see a great future before you. That is, uh, under the proper management, of course. Now, if you care to adjust it down, arrange the details. Here, some way. No, tell him there's a way out this back room. No. No, you make sure you get away. Don't worry about me. Well, if it ain't little Tommy Christian himself. One of our prized Burdett College boys. What a life will you be for Dean Williams? Hey, 
gone. While Mike was stabbing the bump, he made a getaway. In the police car, too. In the police car? That's last night. Now, me fine nutty book. Who was the hot dancer? Come now, no more of your fooling. Who was she? Bring up for the wagon. And uh, don't let anyone steal it away from you. Okay. I wonder where Tommy and the gang are. They've been gone for two hours. Gee, that's a heck of an idea. And on the night of a prom, too, just when we need the crowd. The college is pinched. Don't give your right name. Go! Well, what's happened? Where's Tommy? Well, she had us go to Ramble Inn, and the place was raided. We left there just as quickly as we could, but I'm afraid they caught Tommy. Get your instruments, fellas. I don't... Hello, Max. Pleasant evening, isn't it? Pleasant for some people, but not for the ones who were at Ramble Inn tonight when I catch them. Now, which of you young Indians were there tonight? Why, Matt, you don't think any of us boys would go to that place, do you? Not only you boys, but one of the girls as well. And doing a dance in a grass dress. What? One of our girls? Say, which one of you dames are holding out on me? Are you there, Minnie? Not only that, but they committed grand larceny as well. They stole the police car. Come now, confess. It'll go easy with you if you do. Which of you were there? Who was the girl? All right, I'll find out. Mac. Mac, I'll admit that perhaps some of the boys did go to Ramble Inn. I'll even agree with you that maybe one of the girls danced. In fact, I'll even go further. And I'll also agree that perhaps they did borrow the police car. But there's one thing I know they wouldn't do. What's that? None of them will ever tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If I can't get any information out of you, the dean will be able to find out from Tommy. Mac, do you want me to mind your car for you? Somebody might steal it. <laughs> I want you to mind your own business, young fella.
Betty. Darling, you're going to be blue. You're going to be blue the whole night through. If you should leave me, you're going to sit. You're going to sit and wonder. Wonder where your sweetheart's gone. And you're going to wonder who plays your part while you're gone. Well, you'll be all alone, too. And so unhappy. You'll wait at the farm. For word from me, too. And you'll be missing my husband. I'm telling you, you're going to be blue I hope I'm not intruding. Uh, Tommy, the dean asked me to say he was waiting in his office for you. Oh, all right. You know, I simply adore Daisy, Tommy. They say Daisy's never tell. It's been too much of a strain on my constitution. Have any of you boys got a drink? <laughs> a drink? Well, much liquor. You boys are all well healed. We've been up here for a party. You get some ice, you get some glasses, and you get some fish water. And we'll make merry while Rome burns. <laughs> Your boob, it'll kill the varnish. Give me a chord, big boy. <laughs> After school, we evening, we take a little stroll. We take our cups and gather around the old ale bowl. We drink until we're too fit to satisfy our soul. We cheers for a college education. <laughs> <laughs> the drunkard's toast. Not drunk is he who from the floor can rise again and drink some more. But drunk is he who prostrate lies and can neither drink or rise. <laughs> G 
Je ne sais pas si vous avez des gens. Finney! 
No more school days at old Burdette's. Oh, Tony, you must, you must be kidding. Oh, that's tough. What did the dean say, Tommy? Not much. Asked who was with me. And said that he admired my loyalty to the gang by not telling. But as I knew his views about Ramble in discipline had to be maintained, and as I was caught, exit Tommy Christian. Oh, Tom, you don't mean it. Well, after you won the boat race, well, that's a darn shame. Well, what do you intend to do now, Tommy? I don't really know, Mark. I guess I'll get a job someplace. You know, I am not sick like some of you fellas. I was working my way through school. Shh. I got an idea coming on, I think. Listen. Why don't you see if you can't arrange for the whole band to play in some cabaret in New York? Why, vacation will be here in another month and we can all go. That's it, Tommy. Let's all go to little old Broadway and knock them cold. Will you? What do you say? All right. Out of boy, old babe, old pal, old suck. <laughs> <laughs> On to New York and Howdy Broadway! Howdy Broadway! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
on me. We went over big. The manager wants to sign us for 20 weeks. What's the matter, old pal, old sock, old kid? <laughs> Why aren't you out there knocking them cold? The whole gang is down from Burdette to help along our first night. Speedy. I don't suppose Betty is here. No. I telephoned her house, and they told me she left for New York yesterday. I'll tell you who I have brought. The widow. She promises to dance if it will help you any. And she promises not to steal any more police cars. Ah, oh, gee, she's the life of a patrol wagon party.
my way down here, I stopped off at Greenwich and told my friend, the county clerk, that I was sure he'd have a couple of cash customers before midnight. If you hurry, you'll just make it. Betty, will you? <laughs> well, I <laughs> just ask me and see. <laughs> will you excuse us, folks, please? Goodbye. <laughs>